Good location, good food, good atmosphere. And the handshake, can't beat the handshake. I'm not sure what's better. Juan Mesa's famous handshake. Or the delicious tacos made in his restaurant, Juan in a Million. What's your favorite taco from here? The Don Juan. Um, it's the classic and it's a go-to. It's only $4. They use an entire Idaho potato. Um, the flour tortillas are really good. Juan in a Million is located on Austin's east side, a medium-sized building situated on a neighborhood street corner. It is a busy place most of the time. As soon as you step in, you are bombarded by the sounds and smells of a stereotypical Mexican restaurant. Despite the fact that there are taco places popping up just about everywhere, there is something that has made one in a million special and has allowed the restaurant to stay in business for 31 years. I asked Juan Mesa about the roots of his restaurant. I go to see when do I started uh, July of 1980. We started one in a million. Because when we started our the business, we I like obviously I like I like our menu and I like I like that food, the t type of food that I grew up with and I was very familiar with it. And I thought maybe that's something we could you, we could do, and and it's been 31 years, so obviously it's been working. I spoke with several customers during a bustling weekday lunch hour. They had come from all corners of the city, but they all recognized the true Mexican flavor. Looking at the menu, I think this is more authentic. This is something you would find on the border uh, with more, you know, fresh Mexican ingredients, more of a Mexican taco with Mexican flavors rather than just the Tex-Mex. Tex-Mex has a lot of uh, sauces poured over the original tacos. Uh, this does not seem like the same thing. Good food. It's good food. Um, uh, as far as traditional tacos, I'd, I'd rather have a, um, I guess, a, a, a more of a Mexican flavor than fish tacos. Uh, fish tacos and things like that, I just started eating uh, those type of things a couple of years ago. But uh, as far as Mexican food, it's already been a part of the Austin culture and uh, just a better taste. You know, I like the authentic taste of Mexican food. Mr. Mesa also spoke to me about the popularity of tacos in Austin. It's just incredible. I, when, as a kid, I, when we would eat tacos in the morning, I would never imagine anybody could make money off of uh, selling tacos, but it's just a, it's a hot item. It's been a hot item for, for years already. One way that Juan in a Million has managed to stay traditional is by keeping the business in the family. Juan's son, Juan Jr., is now the manager. I've been working here 22 years. <laughs> What's my job? A manager. Overlook uh, all operations of Juan Emilio. Okay, what's it like to be like in a family business? Uh, it's this family business is very fun. It's uh, and it could be stressful sometimes, but overall fun and enjoyable. Okay. And you get to be around family all the time. Juan exemplifies the spirit of Juan and Emilio. He works nonstop yet is still able to find time to interact with his customers. Yo, man, what's going on? Hey. Ah, what's going on? He gives the restaurant a sense of community and embodies the work ethic of the whole establishment. These principles are really what the restaurant was founded on. Family, tradition, and hard work. The day I stop enjoying it, I won't show up for work anymore. I'll do something else. This story was produced by Ori Green, Neil Rao, and Cyrus Cutter from Keeling Middle School and is brought to you by Stories from Deep in the Heart, a project of Texas Folklife.